Greetings, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today, uh, I'm gonna answer another request we've had through the Facebook page on some seafood. So we've got a couple of really nice looking sashimi grade tuna steaks, and we are gonna sear those and dress them with a balsamic reduction. So let's fire up the Joe Jr. and let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, get started on these tuna steaks, is make a little marinade. And I'm gonna start out with some Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. Probably a little over half a cup, three quarters of a cup. And we're gonna spoon in just a little bit of whole grain Dijon mustard. And I'm gonna mix this up really well. And then I'm gonna put that in Ziploc bags with these two tuna steaks and let them marinate for about an hour. Okay, while those tuna steaks are marinating, we're gonna start out on our balsamic reduction. I'm gonna use a small saucepan and I've got six tablespoons of an aged balsamic vinegar. I've got the juice of one lemon freshly squeezed. And I've got one clove of mashed garlic and we're just gonna let that go and reduce it by about half. Okay, after our balsamic mixture here has reduced by about half, I'm gonna take that garlic clove out and we're gonna turn the heat off and set this aside and just let it cool while we go get the grill ready. Okay, I've got a Kamado Joe fire starter block here buried in the charcoal on my Joe Jr. I'm gonna get that lit up and we're gonna let this burn. I'm gonna kinda arrange some charcoal over the top of it. We're gonna let this burn for 10 minutes or so with the lid open. Okay, now that I've got my fire going, I've set my cooking rack in and I'm gonna set the grill right on top of it so we can cook in the elevated position. And I'm gonna make sure my grill is nice and clean we're going to cook really hot today we're not looking at a specific temperature just really hot because we're going to sear this tuna i've got the bottom vent on the grill fully open and i'm going to close the lid and leave the top vent fully open uh, and let this guy just get really hot okay i've taken these tuna steaks out of the marinade and the next thing you want to do is give them a a coat of your favorite barbecue rub. I'm using a little bit of an experimental rub here today. You just want to coat, coat it lightly, kind of pat it in, and then you'll flip these steaks over and do the same thing on the back side. Okay, we've got our grill good and hot. Now the first thing I want to do is prep the grill a little bit. I've got a paper towel that I've soaked with a little peanut oil that we're gonna put on the grill grates, keep the fish from sticking. So I'm gonna rub that on, get that a, get a nice coat there. And then we're gonna put the tuna steaks on. And we're gonna sear these for a minute on each side. Okay, we got one minute down. So we're gonna flip each one of these. Go for another minute. Okay, we've been the second minute. I'm gonna take one off, set it aside, and then we're gonna go just kind of hold this guy up and sear the edges all the way around. I'm gonna do that on both of these steaks and then I'll meet you back inside. Okay, these steaks are ready to go, so I am going to slice them. We're just going to kind of make pencil thick slices in this. About like that. 
Uh, I just didn't slice that one all the way through. And then the next thing we're going to do is dress this with a little bit of our balsamic reduction. Man, that looks outstanding. Okay, we're going to have a little taste of this. I'm going to take one of the smaller pieces off the end here. And this is cooked rare. That's uh, pretty common. Uh, you can cook this more if you like, but if you've never tried this, I highly suggest it. Let's have a bite. Mm. Oh, man. Wow. That little marinade in our Dijon mustard and Jack Daniels Tennessee honey whiskey comes through beautifully here. And the lemon balsamic reduction has a really sweet flavor to it. And I can definitely taste, you know, the presence of our barbecue rub that we put there. This is absolutely outstanding. This is a keeper, folks. If you haven't tried this, I highly suggest giving it a try. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Joe. Leave me a comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.